You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey folks, welcome back to CES Live here, 2014 from Las Vegas. We're at the beautiful convention center. Do you think it's beautiful, Derek? It's okay. Okay, it's, I'm It's John full B. of beautiful <laughs> things and beautiful people. That is true, and there are a lot of beautiful booth babes. There are. Although we're, I think we're not allowed to talk about that because there was a big uprising last year. I don't know if you heard about all that. I heard about that and... Yeah, we just can't even, it's like an untouchable subject. But you know what's not untouchable? Slingbox. And we've got Brian here to talk to us about it. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, guys. Good to How see are you guys again? doing? doing yeah, fantastic. Yeah, it's good to be here. We like to get our Slingbox updates, yep. both literally and physically. Uh, <laughs> figuratively. Figuratively. <laughs> all, in all ways, we like to hear what's up with Slingbox. Absolutely. You guys have been, been around for a while. Yeah. For people who don't know what a Slingbox is or does, sure. give us the rundown. It's funny, I was just, uh, right before I came on, I, you know, I was talking about, um, you know, we're not the new kids on the block anymore. There was a, a point, you know, several years ago when Slingbox was brand new and it was disruptive and, uh -huh. you know, everyone was like, wait a minute, what's going on here? You see this? And now everyone's like, hey, I want my video on my, my tablet, on my smartphone, in full HD quality, wherever I go. And, you know, we, have, we can deliver that and that's what Slingbox does. It's your living room television delivered to your, your device of choice, your screen of choice, whether it be another TV, whether it be a tablet, smartphone, anything, uh, in beautiful HD quality, whether that's in another room in the house. Or you, anywhere or in the world. anywhere in the world, exactly. And, um, and that's what we do, and we make products that we sell at retail, um, but we also license our technology now, and uh, Hopper with Sling from Dish Network is a great example of that, a product that now has been available for almost a year, um, that has basically a Slingbox integrated into the set-top box on a chipset um, from Broadcom, who you were just speaking yep, to uh, yeah. earlier. Uh, and that delivers, you know, in one single box, a complete video experience. So we're really excited about um, both the retail side of things as well as what we're doing with the uh, OEM and licensing also. Nice. All right, well, I see you've got a little iPad mini right there, yeah. but uh, I'm sure we're going to talk about that. When we talk, uh, before we get into that, we talked about the uh, hopper and the sling box integration there. Yep. People, if they, if at the most basic level, if people wanted, let's say you had, let's say you're paying big bucks for cable TV at home. Yep. And you traveled a lot and you'd like to be able to, to watch something uh, using your cable TV at home. Yes. You don't have to have a, uh, a hopper because that's a dish. You need yep. something that connects to your cable TV. You guys right. make boxes specifically for that purpose. That's correct. We make two versions of our Slingbox product that we sell at retail, at Amazon, at Best Buy, Costco's, a number of different uh, other retailers nationwide and around the world for that matter. Um, and you buy that box, it's a one-time purchase from between $180 to $300, depending on the model. You take it home, and no matter what you have at home, whether that's a satellite subscription service, a cable box, a telco service, um, you name it, you connect the Slingbox to that source, and then once it's in place, you download software or use your web browser on your PC or Mac to access that content, live, linear broadcasts, all your DVR content, even on-demand content if you so chose, and then you use your internet connection on this device of choice, and you can watch your living room television from anywhere in the world. So I live in California. My Slingbox is sitting at my house in California. I have an iPad mini here. I have the Sling Player software installed on that. I have an internet connection that I'm using, thanks right. to you guys, <laughs> and I can log into my Slingbox and I can pull down my live TV. And, and it's great for... Can you show us? Sure, absolutely. Yeah. Great for sports fans, great for uh, you know, local news enthusiasts. You know, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in Vegas, but what do I care about? Do I care about Vegas news and local news? No. Not as much. I care about... Local, uh, local news from the Bay Area. I care about local sports teams like the Golden State Warriors. They've won 10 in a row. They're a very good <laughs> NBA basketball team. Um, and I care about uh, you know the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, so like on a Sunday when there's a ton of different games on all around the country, 
and they're all regionalized because you know that's how the NFL works. I want to watch the San Francisco 49ers games. Wherever you are. Wherever I am, mm -hmm. exactly. So this is a Sling Player app for iPad. You'll notice actually it's, it's a little different than what um, uh, the last time that we actually showed this app mm -hmm. uh, in public. We, act, we refreshed this this fall and we made it, uh, we kind of integrated the second screen features of discovery and navigation and social media and sports stats all into a first screen. So it's kind of like the, you know, have your first screen, have your second screen on your first screen and have your first screen on your second screen. It's the best of both. So it comes up um, and you see immediately what's on right now. So this is my, under my favorite channels, but I also can choose you know, what's popular based on, you know, what's trending on, on, uh, now is on this, TV. Is this cable TV? This is actually, house? this is, a, this is a, my home cable television. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So if I tap something, let's say Braveheart, it'll ask me, where do I want to watch? I want to watch on the iPad or I want to watch on the TV? Now, is this a, is Braveheart just playing randomly playing. on one of the channels exactly. on AMC here? right now? Exactly. It's on AMC. Derek saw it, right? Exactly. Because oh, it said AMC. Said AMC. Right. Yes. But what if I? What if you? What if you don't want what's on AMC? What if you want what's on T? What is Turner Classic? Yes, TMC. Turner Classic TCM. Movies. Are, so, are so, you going to change the channels from here? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So, so I, you know, if I tap the screen here and I pull up, um, there's one of two ways I can do it. If I know the channel number, I can just type the channel number in. And how does the box physically change channels in your house? Yeah, for, for the hopper, you know, you've got the integrated chip, so it can just tell the box. That's right. For but this is like cable, cable right? Box. Yeah, this is a cable box, device. so it uses infrared. So that basically what it does is it, uh, the box, the sling box has an IR emitter built into it. And so when you send a command, send it over the internet, 700 miles or however many miles it is to the Bay Area, and it says, hey, Slingbox, we just got a command to change the channel 737, which is TNT. It and blasts an IR emission, and it bounces it off the walls and the ceilings and stuff, and it comes back to the cable box and actually changes the channel. And you've already told your sling box, I have a Motorola blah, That's blah, right. blah cable box, That's so right. it knows the model to issue the right code. That's right, so I okay, just typed cool. in 737, and that is, so you look down here, 737, I have a T-Bow at home. Right. 737 is TNT, and so it'll change it to TNT. Wait, you, you have go. a TiVo, so now you've got a sling box, you've got cable, and you've got a TiVo. Are you telling me you can watch your tivo content as well? Yeah. Why not? Of course why you not? could. Why not? Absolutely. Why, of course you could. So, uh, you know, in theory, I, I could actually watch, you know, I could watch, um, all the over-the-top content from TiVo if I wanted to on this tablet, but this tablet already has an app for Netflix. It already has an app for yeah. uh, uh, Why you know, go YouTube. through there when Why you can go, just yeah, go yeah, directly exactly. to the source? So um, this is really, you know, we really focus on the linear television experience. The Hopper, for example, though, actually the app, because it's built in, because it's built right into the chipset, there's a couple of benefits there. One is that if I'm changing the channel on this one and my wife is watching at home, it'll change the channel on her because yep. it's, it's a box that is connected to the main video, the only video source, and it just sits between the set-top box and the TV. The hopper, though, uh, because this, the, it's built into the chipset, it just uses another tuner. So if I yep. change the channel, it won't change the channel at home. It'll just do. Um, it'll just change the channel. It might have on the four tuners tuner. available. The hopper now has like up to eight, eight tuners. Yeah, actually, that's now. amazing. Yeah, that's so, a lot of so it's it's um it's a have really Have you tried powerful. that hopper yet? I have not. I really want to. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We have one installed in yeah, our that's right. in our that's right. in our office. You know, you helped us actually right. uh, <laughs> get together with those guys, and and uh, it's very cool because. The, there's a there's a little satellite dish up on the roof, mm -hmm. and then there's the little Joey receiver units right. and the Hopper main unit, right. and Slingbox is just built in. So you don't you know what I think is really cool about where Slingbox has gone with this. I like the fact that you guys do license the technology because I don't want to have to think about. Well, I need to go here and do this to watch that That's thing. Right. I need to go here to do this to watch that thing. In fact, the way it's integrated with the, 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 the hopper, it's so seamless, I don't know where Slingbox begins and where hopper ends. You're making a perfect point, and that's, and that's actually, that's the beauty of it. And I just pulled up the, the this is the Dish Anywhere app, um, and actually this has just been updated and integrates a, a cool new feature that I'll tell you about in just one second. But 
the consumer doesn't care where the content's coming from, whether it's sure. from the DVR, whether it's live on linear broadcast, or whether it's from an on-demand library, and actually Dish is able to actually integrate into one app, and we make this app for uh, Dish, live linear, on-demand content, so it could be a movie from HBO Go, or from HBO, or for Stars or from Cinemax, or whatever you want. It could be um, uh, DVR content that you have, so if you scroll down here, what's on my DVR, there's a one-touch button there, and you can basically play off the DVR. But up here, see right there, it says, this, this is an on-demand content, but a consumer doesn't even know that. But the biggest point that I want to make about you know, the app ecosystem and what we do with Sling is that as a consumer, you shouldn't have to think about where the content is when you want to watch something. You shouldn't have to think about, well, do I have that on Netflix? Do I have that on Hulu Plus? Is that available on the day that it's broadcast or the day later? And especially now with Twitter and with other social networks where people want to either be part of the conversation or they want to not be spoiled, you know, have spoiler alerts yep. about it. They want to watch it on Sunday night, you know, the Breaking Bad season finale or whatever, when everyone else is, so they can basically see what's happening in real time or they can comment in real time. If you're not in front of a living room television to watch it or not at a friend's house, Sling is the way to access that content because it's basically just delivering the living room to your device wherever you happen to be. It's everything you're already used to and enjoying and yep. all that. There was a question in the, uh, in the, in the chat room there about whether, I wonder if Slingbox will work with Windows Media Center. Windows Media Center. Uh, yeah, and somebody said, does it still exist? Exactly, <laughs> so that was my reaction yeah, does too. Does it still exist? Now, if it's but, Windows 8, then the answer is yes, we actually have a brand new app that runs now on Windows 8.1 that runs on all the tablets, including Surface and RT tablets as well. Um, the convertibles, the laptops, and all the desktops. So it's a single app that works in, you know, it's inside the Metro UI. Um, I don't, you know, we used to work on Media Center. I do remember that from my, my days way back with Sling, because yeah. uh, this is my second time with the company. Yeah. But uh, I don't know that Media Center is still available. Uh, if it is, I mean, if it's if there's a standard web browser inside Media Center, but that we can generally do that. speaking, even not on that, y you work across many, many different platforms yes. and right. many, many different devices. So it's uh, you know, more than likely, even if it doesn't work, if you if you are a normal kind of person with with a phone, a tablet, a computer, uh, yeah. you know, all, you're probably going to be able to use it with some, if not most, of your devices. Yeah, I mean, that's the other thing that where we, you know, that's our expertise is that the platform support, you know, we're across Kindle, we're across iOS, we're across Android, uh, you know, uh, Mac, PC, now Windows 8, and now we're also on other TVs. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we announced a, a relationship with Roku uh, in December. Oh, really? I did. Yeah. I missed that uh, one. So there's a there's, we have a channel on Roku that allows. So if you have a Slingbox and you have a Roku, you can have basically your living room TV on another TV that's equipped with a Roku. So the other night we were watching the national championship game at a press event with a TV screen with a Roku attached to it and just the Roku and the broadband connection. So in your house, for example, if you have a garage where you have power and you have the ability to, to connect the Roku wirelessly to your network, but there's no coax drop or something like that. You could mirror the, what's on one TV. of the other TVs. Basically just send it from, from one TV to, to the, the other, other TV. That's cool. Both inside yeah. the house and also remotely. When we, were at the, when we were doing the national championship game, we were pulling from a California sling box, California-based sling box, here to Las Vegas. Nice. So Roku is a, a great platform for platform for us. I mean, and as a sports fan, I was in Idaho over the break, and my dad has a Roku. Uh, but Idaho gets Seahawks and Broncos on Sundays. This was before the playoffs, and it doesn't get any basketball teams. So I wanted to watch Bay Area sports on the big screen, so yeah. we both could watch it. Yeah. I mean, we can huddle around this. Yeah, but, but if yeah. you want to be, you know, you want to watch it on the big screen, and it was perfect. It worked flawlessly. So you um, you download the Roku channel. It's free. Uh, for uh, for you know for the Roku the Sling Player yep, channel for Sling Roku excuse yep. me um, and then you actually initiate on the phone so you start the video on the on your phone on the on the Sling Player uh, app and then you hit a button like AirPlay and it pops up onto the TV nice excellent yeah.
Well, those are the updates, gang. If you don't have a sling box yet, you're missing out. If you like consuming content. You <laughs> I'm know. missing out. And if you like consuming <laughs> it anywhere, I think that we can make something okay. happen for you. Don't yes. worry, Derek. <laughs> we can we, help. We'll get you hooked up. So you guys, thanks for sticking around for all of our continuing coverage here on CE at CES, uh, CES Live 2014. I'm John P. And I'm Derek Kessler. And we'll be right back with even more.